Hello and happy Sunday. I have, um, I just shared a post with you guys and I thought, oh my gosh, there's so many examples I want to give. And if I type it all up, who knows? Who knows what will come? I think it's better if I, I'm trying to get a good angle here. Um, it's better if I come on and expand on what I shared. So, I said, make the negative unfamiliar. That was the first thing. So, this is about the mind. Our mind seeks familiarity, right? Like, that's where it feels the most comfortable. Um, and so, if your thoughts are negative, um, like if that's what's familiar to your mind, okay, then that is where you're going to keep going. There, there's, there's no way out of it, okay? You have to make the choice. So you might be thinking, well, I don't, I don't really, I'm not really that negative. Um, and maybe you're right, but there are plenty of things that are simple that you probably um, have limiting beliefs about. So I'm trying to think of a really good example here. Um, I will use, let's see. I will use, ha I get an excuse to use Kayla in here. Okay, so Kayla just told me, I think it was either this morning or yesterday. I think it was this morning about how she made a goal to get all of her laundry done um, over the weekend while she was in school because it was just like overwhelming. Like like she she wasn't on top of it. The laundry was over always overflowing. So I'm talking about real simple stuff here, guys. Okay. Um, it was always overflowing and it was just like it would stress her out and it would affect the way she focused on her assignments, you know, and just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to do this hard right now. I have all this laundry and it's like calling my name, right? Okay. So she made the decision that she was going to, um, each weekend be completely caught up on laundry and she, and she implemented a system, right? The system is not important. Um, anybody can use any system and it's fine. What was important was her decision. Um, it was her decision to be on top of the laundry and her goal was to have it completed before, um, the weekend was over so that during the week she's fine. She doesn't have to think about it. Now she's told me, oh my gosh, I have kept it going since, um, like, like through that break that she had, she kept going and now she's in her final semester and she's still on top of it and it makes her feel really good. It reduces her stress and yes, Kayla is amazing and she's a superwoman, right? But, um, what it was, was her decision and it was about throwing away whatever limiting belief around that laundry like I don't have time for that I don't have time for that I don't have time to do the laundry I don't have time for that oh my gosh look at that I don't have time for that that's too much it's too much right I'm pretty confident that's probably what it used to sound like right but then let's see I'm gonna see if I can try and tag some people in here cuz I don't know why I'm not I didn't really warn anybody too well So there, I've just invited you all. We'll see who's on Facebook. Um, hopefully, if not, you can catch the replay. So she, she adapted a new belief, right? Which was, I do my laundry on the weekends. I'm caught up on laundry on the weekends, right? She made sure that that was her new belief. She didn't, she no longer said she didn't have time for it. She knew she needed to make time. And that, I will add a side note, that 
whatever you don't have time for, um, you're just not making time for it. And that might mean you need to take something off of your list, but you can make time for it. Um, and it's funny because we actually do that all the time. We make time for things a lot. We just don't think of it that way. We just think like, oh, well, that's important, so I have to do that. Well, it's getting done because you're deeming it important. And the things that are not getting done, you're deeming not important. Um, but if you keep wanting to do them, they are important and you need to make time for them. So that's a side note. Okay. So then on to the next, right? Make the positive familiar. Well, how are you going to do that? You're going to do that positive thing. You're going to think those positive thoughts over and over again, over the negative ones. And they pop up, oh, I don't have time to do that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do have time for that because if I don't make time for that, I'm going to be stressed out all week. Right? So they say, no, I do have time to do that um, because it benefits my well-being right like that's just a simple generic affirmation that I just thought up right now that you can use for whatever the task is right um so many times I hear people say oh, I know I really need to do this I know I really need to do this I just don't have time hear it all the time like it's predictable like I'll be having a conversation with someone I'm like oh, God, you're gonna tell me it. they just don't have time and then it's like, boom, I just don't have time. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Okay, you do have time. We all have time. So I don't let myself say that anymore either. Um, and I think recently, not too long ago, I started, I was like, yeah, I've just been so busy. Oh, ew, no, I don't say that. Ew, gross. Um, but it was like, it was like the easy grab for answer. Um, so I say things like, like, oh, well, I'm focusing my time on this, so I'm not going to be able to do that, but it's a decision. It's not like, oh, you're out of like, oh, no, I just don't have time or like money. I have done this before, um, where I've been invited to, um, go, go to lunch somewhere and I'm like, you know what? That sounds amazing. And I... And, um, that's, that sounds like a really fun thing to do. Thank you for inviting me. Um, however, I'm saving my money for dot, 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 whatever, fill in the blank. And that's why I said, I was like, well, I'm saving my, the mine was, um, I'm saving for my money for this bill that's coming up. And so thank you so much for the offer, but, um, I'm using my money to do this right now. So instead of being like, oh, well, I can't go on broke. Right? Like, oh, I don't have any money. I'm poor. Well, you keep telling yourself that you're never going to have money and you're always going to be poor. Right? Think about it. Have you ever, like those of you that say that, because I know there's people like, well, I just never have money. 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 Do you ever have money? <laughs> right? Like you do, but you don't even look at it like that. Right? Um, and I know that very well. And that's one that I have to practice. Um, on a daily basis, for sure, is um, cultivating that new money mindset. Because I'm like, actually, I have everything I need. Everything I need is provided for in this day. What? What? Yes, everything I need. And it's true. It's 1,000% true. I have running water. I have clothes. I have food. I have drinking water. I have hair products I have I mean like even stuff that I don't need I have right so am I poor no I'm not okay um do I have unlimited amount of monetary you know like cash no but is that important no I have everything I need and little um side note on that story about I just told you about going out to lunch like I was complete. I was like that is so sweet, but you know what? I, I'm, I'm choosing to save my money for this because I really need to pay this. And she was like, oh my gosh, I will totally pay for you. I really want to hang out with you. And I was like, okay. Like, I, you know, you got, and then you got to receive because before, especially even 
like, well, many times before I'll be like, oh my gosh, no, I can't. I can't have you do that. Like that would make me feel like crap. And the reason why it would make me feel like crap is all tied into a limiting belief that if I don't have a cash flow, if I don't have like a certain amount of extra money, then I'm a failure. Then I'm unworthy and I don't deserve to go have fun. Okay. That has been a lifelong pattern of mine. And because I'm working on breaking that pattern and making the positive familiar, I've also been practicing receiving, right? So the more I practice receiving, which is a very positive thing, the more I practice receiving, the easier it gets, the more familiar it gets. When it happens, my brain goes, this is good. Oh, I want, yes, thank you, right? So we make the positive familiar by doing it over and over again. Same way you make the negative familiar, right? You you say it over and over again. You repeat the same patterns over and over again. And that's why that's your default. That's what you go to. But you change that mindset. You make the negative unfamiliar, okay? So I make the idea that I don't have enough money or that I'm a failure because I don't have X amount of dollars in my bank account I make that unfamiliar and I and I make what's familiar is everything I need is provided for in this day like I live a um, healthy and abundant life my life overflows with abundance and blessings and um, you know like oh and then like the desires of my heart the desires God has placed in my heart um are like fulfilled in his perfect time you know like that's that's what i practice because that opens up the door for um all the good that's not a need but a blessing like an abundance more than go like being treated to lunch that's an abundance right so it's a way you flip it tell your brain what you want this is my next part tell your brain what you want so if you're saying a good one for this is always like food and weight loss and all that stuff. So if you say I want to be skinny, right? Or like, which I wouldn't say that one, but like if you say I really want to be healthy, I want to look good and I want to feel good, then the... And I unstuck, the my unstuck program is all about this. Then, the, um, your, the actions that you take line up with that, that value, that belief, like, okay, um, I'm going to live, or I want to live, or I live, or I'm cultivating a healthy life, I like, I feel good, um, I look good and I enjoy my choices, right? So, um, like, let's say, and, and you don't have to eat salads, but we're just going to use this as an example. So it's like, okay, um, salad or pizza, right? You're at a restaurant and it's like, hmm. So the old mind goes, oh, well, you really love that pizza, you know? Oh, it tastes so good. It's hot. Mm -hmm. It like tastes so good in your mouth. You feel full when you eat it. Oh, it's so satisfying. And then you look at the salad and you're like, ugh, every time I've had this, I'm always hungry when I'm done. It's just like lettuce and it doesn't really taste that good and definitely doesn't make me feel satisfied, right? But if you flip the script in that and say, well, I'm not going to choose the pizza because I want to live a healthy life. I want to look good and I want to feel good. And that will not serve my body. Now, okay, okay, you guys, I'm not saying you can't have a piece of pizza. So don't, don't even think I'm saying that. I'm just using it as an example of the choices that you get to make, right? But if you say, oh, well, I choose to eat this chicken salad with some protein and um maybe I'm going to change the leaves you know not have iceberg because the iceberg is so annoying right well, that's what I tell myself right so I like spinach and kale and chard and arugula mm, arugula is so good right 
So, but if I say, well, actually, I'm going to choose this salad over here because I want to live a healthy life. I want to look good. I want to feel good. And I feel good about that choice, right? So, again, you can fill in the blank with whatever your eating plan is. What You know, um, I, I don't really... I'm not crucial. I don't eat a lot of salads. I really don't. Um, I don't. I like... Um, I, I have certain vegetables that I really like. And I just make them... Up, like, I just add them into my diet. Um, and... I choose smaller portions of meat and I don't have very many carbs. Like not because I'm like, Oh, carbs are the devil. I'm just thinking like what I've learned about flour and water. And actually Tony, you and I were at the same, if you watch this, you were and I were at the same, um, event at the UFC gym when those ladies taught us about like, when, you know, when you mix flour and water, it becomes a paste, right? And it does. Um, and when we put that in our body, like, it literally is just like this paste. that has no nutritional value. It doesn't do anything for your body. Now, I love pie. And pie is, I mean, the reason why I love pie is because I love pie crust. Love it. I love that. That paste. It tastes so good and all crispy and delicious. So, I choose to have it. Once in a while, right? Like, around the holidays, I have it. But I don't make pie a part of my my daily um, diet because I, that would be very unhealthy. Um, knowing what I know. So it's not just like, oh, well, I'm deeming it unhealthy. Like, I know that eating a lot of f white flour um, turns, like, into paste in my stomach. And it doesn't have any nutritional value. It's like eating cardboard. Um, and I learned this through education, right? So when I eat carbs like that, I'm very aware. I'm like, this has no nutritional value. It tastes very good though, <laughs> you know? So, um, I can either choose, mm, you know what? I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose something different or I might choose to enjoy the taste and eat half of it and save half for another time. And I do that. Like if I go to, um, uh, my favorite coffee shop. Um, maybe I get one of those carrot cake muffin things they have. Oh my gosh, they are so good. I haven't had one in several months. And the last time I had one, I cut it in half. I ate half of it and I put the rest in the fridge and I ate it another day, you know? Because then it's not like massive amounts of sugar and carbs and all that stuff. Um, but it, it happened over time. But because... I made choices that I was happy with and like I still have ice cream, I still have chocolate, I still have, you know, I still have those things, but they are not a part of my daily diet. Does that make sense? So, um, and I'm aware that like, okay, this is just tastes good, but it's not going to like serve your body. So that helps me to stay on track eating things that will serve my body because I love myself and I want to take care of myself and I want to look good and I want to feel good, right? So you tell your brain what you want. Um, so if you're constantly, like if you're saying, okay, well, I want to be, I want to look good and I want to feel good, but I want to eat this food that's not serving to my body and you keep focusing on that, your brain is still going to want that food. But when you set it straight and you say, well, something like a better option would be this, you know, then and then you start feeling better. And don't think of like it's a bad thing. It's like, well, choosing this better thing is going to get me what I want. It's actually going to help me achieve my goal. Therefore, it's good. Therefore, I don't have to feel bad about it or deprived. I can feel happy about it, right? Change the pictures and words in your head. Okay, that goes along with tell your brain what you want. So, you know, look at it differently. Look at it differently. Look at that that salad um, and smile, thinking about the nutrients you're putting into your body and how it's going to serve your organs. And, like, look at it differently. Like, hmm, oh, I like that. That serves me. That's great. I'm going to eat that, right? <laughs> and, I'm again, I'm just using that as an example because we already talked about it. 
last thing um, use I am choosing to so instead of like well I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to do this I I have weeded out the have to's in my life by like 90% and I would tell you oh my gosh it is such a happier life um it doesn't mean that you get rid of all the behavior, like all the activities, all the responsibilities that you had to do before. It doesn't mean that. So instead of like, I have to do the dishes. I don't, I, I'm choosing to do the dishes because I want a clean counter. I want clean plates and forks that I can eat off of, that me and my family can eat off of. Um, I want to keep my house clean because it's healthy for me and my family. So I'm choosing to do these dishes. And when I choose to do something, I can feel good about it. If I have to do something, most of the time it's with dread, right? Um, very, it's very, um, rare that I dread the dishes anymore. It's, and, and if I do dread it, like, oh, want to do that right now. It's usually just because I'm tired, right? And so when I'm tired, all bets are off. I give myself a lot of grace because when I'm tired, my mindset is not as strong. It's weak. And I don't like that, but I also allow myself grace um, to continue to grow, you know, and with hopes that I will get better and better and better and better at this, right? But using the phrase, I choose to do this so much more positive, so much more empowering. And it lets you see, like, what are you filling your life with, right? If you're, if you have this whole life of have to's, and you don't enjoy any of it. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Seriously. So even by, like, even by ch changing, I, I this is what I would challenge you to do. Maybe not today, but maybe for tomorrow. Before you do anything, say, I'm choosing to do this. And then maybe ask yourself why. Right? Like, for instance, I'm choosing to get up at 6 a.m. Why? Because I really like my alone time um, studying the Bible and praying. Why? Because it really helps me get centered and focused on my purpose. Um, it, re it helps me to um, ground myself before I greet my children. Um, so that I can be at my best self. Um, before I talk to them. Before I interact with them. And feel all grumpy. and oh, I'm tired. You know? Um... I choose it because it's made my life so much better to implement that into my day. I choose to make myself a good breakfast. Why? Well, one, I love breakfast. <laughs> Two, because I need, I again, I want to fuel my body. I want to prepare myself. I want to nourish myself for the day so that I can actually carry out the things that are in my heart to do. And if I don't take care of myself, I don't nourish myself, I will get too weak. I will get tired. And I just told you what happens when I'm tired, right? So, um, let's see. What else? I choose to, I'm choosing to read right now. Okay. Why are you choosing to read right now? Well, because this is another way of nourishing myself and, um, it's actually, for me, a form of play. It's telling me that making time to do something that I enjoy is good. And it will serve me and others. Because what I learn, I share. What inspires me, I share. When I'm filled up, I pour out, right? So, um, it's funny because as I'm telling you these things, I'm like, wow, I really do a lot of stuff for myself. <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I have a blessed life right now. I've worked, I have worked at least 20 different jobs in my life. I have worked a lot of jobs and I would consider myself, um, a very good employee. I, I like to, you know, I, I like to, um, 
do a great job. That's the perfectionist part. You know, make people happy and and serve them and all that stuff. So I'm very confident that if I went back into the workforce, I could get a job and I could be good at it. But God challenged me to work for myself, to work on my book, to work on coaching, um, which is completely scary and has its own challenges. Um, but God knew I could do it because one of, and I'm totally going off the topic here, but um, I've always been very self-motivated, um, self-disciplined, like I can do it. So I can be my own boss because I keep myself like on task, right? Because it's important, like all the things I'm doing are very important to me. Um, but with that, I find that I can be still like really hard, like I can be really hard on myself. And so then all I'm doing is working, 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 working. And everything I do is work, everything. Work with my kids, work on my content, work on my coaching, work on my book. Um, all, it's all work. And then it's like, well, when do you ever play? You know? Um, and so that's why I'm, I'm really focusing on cultivating the play. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything insane, like 10 minutes of reading a day or 10 minutes of, I mean, whatever. It doesn't even have to be 10 minutes. It could be longer. Um, a little bit every day. Um, or at least one thing a week, but I actually, I don't advise that actually. I think a little bit every day and maybe a little bit more on one of the days. So, um, anyway, when you say you're choosing to do something, it, it will um, kind of awaken your motives and you can weed out some stuff because there's a lot of times that you're doing things and you're spending a lot of time on something that does not serve you. And maybe it happened because of a habit, you know, uh, well, I always do that. Why? Oh, well, because blah, 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 blah. Okay. Does that still apply to your life anymore? I guess not. Okay. Get it off the list. Right? So, um, try that. Try seeing how it feels. And then when, when it's something positive and you say, I'm choosing to do this. Why? And sometimes you might know right away, like, mm hmm, yeah, I'm choosing to do this. But say, ask yourself why. And if it's something that's really good and positive, celebrate it and be like, yes. Because the more true you are to you, and the person that God made you to be, the better service you are to the world. So it's not selfish. It's tapping into your God-given desires. Um, so anyway, I kind of, I don't even know how long I've been talking, but no one came on. Um, I, uh, I really wanted to share this with you a few days ago. And then I, I took, oh, now Annie's here. Now that I'm hanging up, I... Just talked for a really long time. I don't even know how long that was. But um, I'm going to repost. Watch the replay. Because I think you're going to like. You'll totally love it, Annie. You will love it. Um, so let me know how you guys do with that. And I'd love to hear any feedback on how this helped. And I um, hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday. See you later.